Hello, you're welcome to another exciting episode on Entrepreneur's Corner. This is the program where we get to bring in different entrepreneurs to talk about their businesses. And I still remain your host, Kende Bashir, and you're welcome to Equal Blog. So today we have a beautiful chef in the house. She's not only a chef, she's into farming and she does other things. I know you want to know more about her, you will. I'd like us to go on a quick break and when we come back, the program continues to so stay tuned. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Entrepreneur's Corner. Uh, this is the program where we get to you know, bring in entrepreneurs from different walks of life to talk about their businesses. So today I have Mrs. Ola Nike Shudunke. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Kenny. <laughs> oh, you look so beautiful and you're glowing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. So now let's just you know, run through the questions. Now tell us about yourself and what you do. I am Olani Keshodunke, CEO Taste Imaginations. I'm, a, I'm first a chef. Okay. And also, I am a poultry farmer. Wow. I do a little bit of um, um, poultry farming and cucumber and then watermelon farming. Okay. And um, um, I'm also into real estate, I'm mm -hmm. a consultant, and um, I'm a network marketer as well. I market um, a healthy product. You know, you can call me health advocate. Wow. So I do all of that. Ah, the grace of God. So you literally do all this. Wow. Yes. Um, don't worry, I would ask you some questions that has to do with these businesses. Okay. <laughs> okay, what inspired you to venture into this business? Okay, basically for the cooking aspect, I I love to be in in the kitchen right from my childhood i spend time a lot of time in the kitchen and i i don't get bored wow. so that's a loan for me i just believe cooking is one of my hobbies so i decided to monetize that that is for the chef aspect but for other aspects you know these days or this generation you don't really have to rely on one source of yes, income yeah. and then you have to be a good supporter also yeah. you know to your spouse so I, I just do other things because I, I believe as, as much as I know I, I, I am capable of doing, I do them just to make sure I'm able to get extra income to support both the family and then my community at large. Mm, oh, that's a very good one, man. Good. So now as a businesswoman, mm. let's just talk about your challenges you face. Okay. This, like, how do you tend to manage these challenges? Or what are the challenges? Well, um, basically, um, I would say the challenge is um, about, it has to do with staffing. Mm -hmm. You know, having um, a permanent staff. These days, so many youths want to do a little bit, learn fast, and then be their own <laughs> boss. You know, you really need people that are trustworthy to stay. Mm. But I have a lot of them that work on part-time basis when we need to work. We all come together. We all come together. together. But, ba but basically, I, I, I am short of staff, like permanent staff that can always be there. You know, at times I could have one or two things to do. I'm like, hello, are you available? And they oh, for now I'm not. So that's basically, you know, and aside from that, um, I used to have the challenge of fire supply. Okay. But with the help of inverter now, I think that is um, a bit sorted. Oh, uh, let me see that sorted. Also, okay. Because I, I could use the inverter for my cake mixing and other things. So it makes life easier. <laughs> so okay. majorly it's just staffing. Yes. Staffing. Okay, um, Mrs. Olanike, as a chef and a farmer, uh, a real estate consultant and all the things you do how do you think to strike a balance with this business and your family well um to the glory of god with the help of a good and um supportive husband um, you know he's been there for me whenever i need to do some um whenever i, I really get busy okay. he's always there to, to attend to the children because in our work more from home okay. and then aside from that i also try to manage my time i plan my week i plan i plan my 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 days like let me say i plan like i have a month's plan 
weekly plans and daily plans so that's where i put things in order mm -hmm. like i don't go to the farm every day okay. you know then when i have to cook or bake I, I i i have a particular day for that and then when i also have to do my other businesses it's online basically okay. so i just attend to that so i give it a particular time so i i just by the grace of god i've been able to manage it and i don't think they really clash mm -hmm. especially for the online you can you, know, you can easily do that even without you know really having to move from where you have to a particular location and it's been all well and good by the grace of god just planning basically mm -hmm. you know and then having accountability partner so always watch your back. With that, I've been able to achieve all of this for this. Mm. Okay, um, amazing, you know. And let me add to this. Um, self management too is included. Yes. <laughs> okay, now this bring this question, this previous question. Um, once I, I really want to connect it to this one. I want to ask you now, which has to do with the new media. Now, um, do you think, or would you say, the new media, which is technology? as you know played a huge role on your business you know has it added any value to your business or you know? so much value wow because most of my customers they get to interact online mm -hmm. you know when, even when you want to place order it has to be online nobody goes to anyone's door no, doorstep yeah. say oh i need a cake or you know it has to be online so for example when um, any customer wants to know more of what i do I just send them my Instagram and do, and then they go online to check um, the things I do and then you know the internet is just like life these mm. days you can't survive without it. I agree with you. You know and uh, it has really had a, a whole lot to my business positively. Mm. Mm. Wow. Thank internet, you. thank you. <laughs> so um, do you think your business will be more successful in another environment? I believe so. Okay. As a chef or as a caterer, nobody, I don't think there's any environment where people can survive without food. So they all need me, true, be it home true. or abroad. <laughs> you all need my services. So it will always strive, I believe. Oh, uh, Mrs. Nike, if you were to diversify into another line of business, what business would it be and why would you want to do the business? Well, for now, I'm not thinking of that, but maybe in the future. Okay. Because I, I, I remember I, I used to have interest in um, having a crutch. I love wow. being with children. Like, um, even right in my church, I, I've been a children's church teacher for about 10 years. So maybe in the future, I, I would just like to have a crutch just for babies. Mm. You know, toddlers, basically. Mm. If God permits. And I pray God is going to make that happen. Amen. A very good one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Olani Keshuli K. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And that's all we can take on today's episode. Uh, thanks for joining us. See you next time. And don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at EcoOddBlog. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment for us on the comment section. I still remain your humble host, Kengde Bashir. Thank you and bye for now.